Hello there everyone and welcome back to yet another beautiful video. And today I want to go through some recent items I have acquired or have been given. I have not done one of these in a long time and it was just my birthday so I have a few items to show off. This isn't necessarily everything I've gotten, yet it's everything that I feel really fits my style recently. So yeah, let's get right into it. And we don't like federal agents, pump. Let's throw a bit of a curveball here. And the first thing I am going to go over is actually a book. So it is not necessarily a piece of clothing or an accessory, yet it definitely deals with everything related to the realm of fashion. And that is Werkstatt Munchen's book. This book was in collaboration with Stylegeist, so the creator and curator and head of Stylegeist helped work together with Werkstatt to create this book. So a few weeks ago, Style Geist, or once again, the curator of Style Geist, had a sample sale of a bunch of older items, and my girlfriend got me this book for my birthday, which is really impressive because it's actually signed by Werkstatt Munchen. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cool to have this in hand, in person, especially something signed by the craftsman himself. Overall, everything from the design language to the written text in the book is very beautiful. Everything is very cohesive, it has a certain ethos to it that really works together with his brand. And I will try to figure out a way of having images of this up here. I was thinking about possibly uploading a full scan of this book as I am one who definitely believes in freedom of information, as I love teaching about fashion, and this is one way for me to bring information out there to all of you. But yeah, really cool gift, beautiful book, beautiful cover, amazing that it's been signed by him. Just amazing piece overall. Let's go over something which goes more or less with my style right now. I, of course, have a style that's always changing, as you guys have seen throughout the years. I've gone from avant-garde to completely weird, crazy cowboy, and now back to avant-garde. Yet one thing that I'm really fascinated with is much, much older clothing, and especially anything that has to do with old French Mandarin workwear. So right here, I have this 1960s to 1970s Mandarin French work jacket, which is a very long jacket in itself. This, thanks to the translation of my girlfriend, is from a Shanghai factory, which is really cool. And if I can get the label a little closer up, can see the tag there yeah it's a gorgeous faded blue the silhouette is phenomenal the fit is great as well this is one of the three-fourth sleeves version of the jacket so it doesn't have super baggy sleeves on me like most clothing do because of my shorter arms <laughs> this is a really nice piece it has a gorgeous fit and once again it's continuing with this more valuable antique look and that's something that I definitely definitely love and I'm always trying to achieve when I'm creating clothing or I'm creating something which is you know just the fine craftsmanship of articles from back in the day and the wear that they get as well as the unique colors that come with that wear so yeah great jacket to have overall there's probably going to be some b-roll of me wearing it. I have a new little shoe set up. Maybe I'll do it next to that. We'll see how everything looks. Let's not stay on clothing for too long as we are moving into perfumes. Something that I have increasingly been getting into recently. 
and now that my new job involves a lot of perfume and scent related work, it only makes sense that I start buying more and talking more about perfumes. Here we have the Boris Bajan Sibiri 10 perfume. Now, this perfume, and you could hear my sigh there, this perfume is modeled after his own workshop. It is meant to represent the smells that he smells when working with leather. And it definitely has the leather smell. My only issue with this perfume is the leather smell mixed with the very strong citrusy scents that are within it. it is too strong at that point for me and i am a fan of some stronger perfumes i've always enjoyed the black udu of the madeleine but this is by far too strong for me to wear so i will usually mix it with something and only spray just a tiny bit of this on something if i am wearing a bit of leather i do actually spray this on the leather to increase that scent which I would say is a really cool part of this perfume. It's perfect for a vest bag or a wallet or your boots. You can spray it on that and it will keep that authentic smell. Unfortunately, if it's too close to my neck, it is too strong for me. But I mean, I'm happy to have this. I don't regret buying it, just a little too strong for me. The next item we will be going into is definitely relating to the previous jacket that I showed off. And this is a pair of Thai fisherman trousers. These are going to be incredibly hard to show off from this view, this angle, on this camera. Yet these pants look extremely baggy and truly are. Yet the cropped silhouette that they create when on person creates this nice narrative in your outfit when wearing it that really takes control of the whole thing. And I love pairing this actually with the jacket because of how the pant lays on my ankle with the shorter sleeves. It all works out very well. Overall, I'd say the worn out colors once again are continuing that narrative of sort of valuable antique that I appreciate. And yeah, overall, these are a great pair of pants. No pockets though. And that is very disappointing. Um, I always have to wear a vest bag or some sort of blazer or jacket with it in order to carry my stuff. But it's a trivial question when the look is amazing. I purchased these from a store in Dumbo, Brooklyn called called Front General Store, and I'm blanking on the name, but I know my keys. My house keys have their little tag on it, so I can easily know. Front General Store, yeah, in Dumbo, Brooklyn. Really, really nice atmospheric, vintage military, and just Japanese vintage store. It's a fabulous place to go if you're looking for anything. It is a little more pricey on some items, but overall a really nice experience just to go in. The final thing I want to talk about in this video, because I do want to be keeping these videos shorter rather than longer, is a jacket that I made myself. This jacket is not complete and once again, it is a larger item that will not be properly shown in this small rectangle that is recording me right now. Yet yeah, B-roll will be filming. What I personally like about this is the mix of the dyed linen that I dyed myself with the inside that just creates such a unique color combination in my opinion. Once again, it's continuing with that entire narrative that I was speaking of throughout this whole video. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Of course, it's not finished. I have some things that need to be fixed. The lining has to be fully put in as I have never done a lining on anything before this. But overall, I'm quite happy. The only change I would make to it as sort of a conclusion to the whole creation process of this jacket 
is that the buns were more centered. I thought to the side would look good with the silhouette I was going for, and that did not work out. However, I'm still happy. It's surprisingly very warm, so it works as my winter jacket. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed me showing off just a few things that I've done recently and sort of a dive into my style and my thought process about items that I am purchasing and how I'm wearing them, etc. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, have an amazing day.